so in today's video I will be doing my everyday makeup tutorial with you guys I will be sharing every single product that I use on a daily basis all of these products are also very affordable all of them are from the drugstore either at uh, your local drugstore or at Ulta or Morphe so all of these products are still very affordable and uh, products that you have easy access to because I know that was highly requested as well so if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep on watching all right, so just wash my face and be getting ready very quickly with you guys because I have to go to school today and then later I'm gonna go to Isaiah's basketball game, but I'm running a little late, so I'm gonna try and be as thorough with the information that I'm giving you guys, but also still kind of um, be quick with it. I'm gonna be starting off with moisturizer. This is the Cetaphil um, Moisturizing Lotion. This one is a lightweight 24 hour hydration, um, contains six moisturizers, vitamin E and B5. So I've been trying out this one and I'll let you guys know how I like it because this bottle um, was $11 and I believe the Aveeno is the same price, roughly around the same price. This one has obviously a lot more product in it so I'm going to try this brand out and see. I know this is a, a good brand and I've heard like a lot of good things about the um, cleansers as well which I'm trying out the cleanser and I'll also get back to you about that if it's good so I highly recommend this one so far um, it's done a good job at hydrating my skin but I can't say that it's like uh, better than the Aveeno because I've only used it for a couple days and this stuff goes a long way so I'm just gonna use like a little dollop of that You don't want to forget your neck either think of your neck as part of your face like you should be doing all your skincare on your neck as well so i always put like a little bit extra on my neck and my decollete area like my chest area um because i feel like it's like often uh forgotten about when you're doing your skincare and it's really important to get those areas because those areas age as well i heard something that you can really tell your age by your neck and like ever since i heard that i was like Oh, like freaking out I like always put my moisturizer on my neck now so one thing I do love about this lotion is it does have like a little bit of tackiness to it which I prefer because I feel like perfect for right before makeup um, and I don't know if you guys know this but I don't use primer um, I just never have used a primer before my makeup and my makeup's always like came out the way I wanted it so so right after my moisturizer I'm gonna start with my foundation this is one of my favorite drugstore um, foundations ever it's the Maybelline fit me this is in the shade 118 light beige because I am so pale right now I use the matte even though I do have dry skin I just like the way matte looks on me compared to the dewy so I do a little dollop of that and I've already uh, wet my Real Technique sponge. These are like my favorite sponges ever. I just always go back to them. And then instead of dotting the foundation on my face with my finger and then blending it out, I like to dip my sponge into the foundation and then go into my cheek area first and really spend like a good amount of time pushing the product into your skin. Like don't rush the base uh, part of your makeup because I feel like that, if that looks good, then everything else will look good. And with this foundation specifically, I always start with a light layer and then if I need to, I'll build it up. But um, I find if I put too much foundation on, especially with my dry skin and because this is matte, my dry patches like just look worse. I look very pale right now, but it's honestly the shade of my neck. You just can't really tell because I'm wearing a turtleneck. I think my foundation's all... Um, blended and everything and I'm gonna go in with the same cream contour that I always use it's the wet n wild mega glow um, contour stick this is in the shade oaks on you by doing this step I feel like everything looks so much more natural and like everything just looks like one it's not really necessary because I eventually go back in with um, bronzer so so these are all the areas that I cream contour. I just go underneath my cheekbone, um, right around my forehead, the sides of my nose, and then um, right here to create a more defined chin. And then of course to get rid of the double chin down there. And then underneath the lip right here, I just put a little product to make my lip look a little bit more powdier. And then I'm gonna be taking my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's perfect for blending out um, my cream products. So I start with my cheekbones and I just lightly brush upwards and just kind of push it into the skin. And 
then for around the hairline, I obviously brush it into my hairline. That way it blends evenly. And then same thing for the chin. I just brush it downward into my neck. And then same thing for around my jawline, downward into my neck. It's really hard to get the sides of my nose with that brush, so I'm gonna use this brush. This is a Luxie 141 Detailed Taper Blending Brush. Kind of looks like this. It's just a little bit more defined. And then blend it downward. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I always do my uh, cream contour first and then my concealer. That way if it's too aggressive or too harsh, I can like kind of lighten it out with my concealer. So I've really been loving this concealer lately. It's also from the drugstore. It's uh, Wet n Wild. This is a Conceal and Correct. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. So it looks like this. Lately, I've been liking a very bright under eye. I know in the summertime, I like more of a natural look. I don't really like much of a bright under eye. But um, right now, I've been really liking it. So that's why I specifically got one much lighter than... Um, my cream contour and uh, my foundation because I just like the way this looks on me Everyone has a preference on how light they want their concealer to be I'm just one of those people that likes it super light I start off with my chin first and just blend it in with the same beauty sponge that I use to blend out my foundation So I just want to say like once I get to um, the perimeters of my face or parts that are closer to my cream contour, I like to blend out my product with the tip of the sponge and then towards the end of the sponge I like to blend out the edges just right in between where the contour and the concealer meet. That way it gives it a more blended look rather than like dragging the concealer all the way up. That way it doesn't completely take the contour away. I think we're pretty much blended out. Now I'm gonna be setting it. So I am gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is also one of my favorite drugstore uh, setting powders. I have tried the Airspun. I don't like that one because it it's, uh, leaves a, like a white shadow with flashback and nobody likes that. So this one I just always gravitate towards and I'm someone who doesn't really like to change things up, especially if products really work for me. And this is one of those products. So if you haven't tried this face powder from the drugstore, you need to. It's a Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the shade Fair Light 10 and it just works perfectly. Like it does the job done. I don't crease under my, underneath my eyes. You can bake with it. You can just regular set with it. And it's honestly, it's just a great product from the drugstore. I'm just gonna blend everything out one more time before I set it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I'm using this new e.l.f. Blush, e.l.f. brush that I got because I find that like e.l.f. brushes work really, really good. And let me know if you're one of those people that first started using e.l.f. when the brushes were like a dollar to $2 because I was definitely one of those uh, people who started using e.l.f. when their products were super cheap. And now that they've expanded their line, which is great um, that they've expanded their line, but their brushes are like four to five dollars. And I know that's not expensive, but the fact that brushes like this were a dollar to two dollars and the quality is amazing, it's just crazy to me. So I picked up another brush like this because I usually use something like this to set my under eyes. And uh, I figured I'd try a little bit bigger one because I just, I don't know, I just wanted to see how it would work and I really, really like this for setting my under eyes. And this is technically a blush brush, which I can see how it would be used as a blush brush. I'm gonna look down at this bear while I do it, but I'm just gonna dip it into powder like this and then just push it into my under eyes. And this leaves your skin looking so airbrushed, so soft looking. I highly, highly, highly suggest this powder. And for someone like me that's very dry, I don't find that this like dries out my skin too bad because um, I pretty much set it, or I pretty much set my face everywhere. So 
I highly recommend this if you haven't tried it. I highly doubt that people haven't tried it because it's so popular now and it's like a pretty old product. Um, but like I said, once I have something that I like know works for me, I tend to not try other things and I know I need to like step out of my comfort zone and actually try new products, but I'm just scared of wasting my money. Of course the neck because we applied product there as well. I'm gonna blend out my creased eyelids again for the 20th time and then set those as well with the same powder and same technique. Now that all of my cream product is set, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. This is also one of my favorite super affordable bronzers. Um, this is by Rimmel London. This is the natural bronzer. It claims to be water waterproof. I haven't tested that out. Um, waterproof bronzing powder. Um, and this is in the shade Two Sunlight. So it looks like this, very natural, very pretty. Um, it doesn't have shimmer in it, but it's not completely matte. So it's like right in between of a shimmery bronzer and a matte bronzer. You can see it kind of, it's so beautiful. It's brand new, so that's why it looks so stunning. Also another Real Techniques brush. This is the contour brush. I use it to bronze though. It's kind of dome-like brush. This is what I use to bronze. And because we have already cream contoured underneath um, all this powder, we don't really need to go heavy with the bronzing. Um, I just like to because it brings life to my dull skin right now, especially in the winter time. So I'm pretty much adding bronzer everywhere I added the cream contour. So around my cheeks, around my hairline, and then right on the sides of my chin, and then underneath my neck right here. All right, so I'm gonna try and um, contour my nose with the same shade. I've never tried this before, but I want to keep this video um, all drugstore. With a little bit more powder on my brush, I'm just going to blend out the sides. That way it's not too harsh. And then if I feel like I blended too much out, I'll just go back and forth with the uh, two brushes and kind of like darken up the sides. And I think that's good enough. So now we have... Pretty much our whole base on except for blush so i'm going to use the same elf blush this is a really old one that i've just like always used now completely destroyed this one as you can see because it was my favorite but i'm going to tap into this one right here it's a more rosy look but i think it'll match the lip that we're going to wear today and then this is, this is a morphe e4 brush um morphe is a more affordable brand so that's why i am incorporating this even though you can't get it at like a drugstore like Walmart or Target or CVS or anything like that or Walgreens. Um, Morphe is still really affordable if you haven't tried their products already, but everybody knows Morphe. I'd be surprised if you haven't tried it. For my blush preference, I always bring it up towards the back of my cheek as well as the apples of my cheek. I just like the way this looks. Again, if I feel like I added too much, uh, which I usually do, I'll go back in with the same powder brush that I've been using and just kind of like dab it out and it kind of just blends everything together. This is a really, really old MAC eyebrow brush. Um, I honestly have no idea where I got it because I definitely didn't buy it. I don't know if I accidentally stole it from my sister, but um, first I'm going to be brushing my eyebrows up and this is just an Anastasia um, clear gel brow. Um, I'm just going to brush it up there's not that much product on the brush, so it's not completely setting them down. Um, it's just kind of like holding them in place. That way I know exactly where to put the product. I'm going to be using my KKW um, Matte Palette, but you can use any eyebrow product that you usually use because I feel like everybody has their preference on eyebrow product. I've been using powders because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural than like a pomade. Um, that's the look that I've been going for. So I'm just going to use in a, a uh, dark brown shade. So use any dark brown shade that you may have in your palette or any eyebrow product that you already love and you use. I think that's as even as my brows are gonna be. Um, my brows are never really even at all. I just kind of go with it and I'm just whatever about them now. 
Um, but yeah, this is my brow routine. Super simple, super like not fun, but everybody has their own brow routine. And so just go ahead and just do whatever one that you um, use. And again, this is not a affordable uh, brow pomade, but I know e.l.f. has one that's really, really good. I just don't have it. So that's another option for you. There are tons of good ones at the drugstore, but if you don't, I always used to use hairspray on his booty and that shit worked just fine. So um, for this sake, I'm going to go ahead and incorporate a picture of the e.l.f. one that I use and love. I'm not going to do any eyeshadow today because I never really do eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara. And this is a very dirty mascara. I am like ashamed of how dirty this is, but I use it every single day and I love it. This is the, I think this is, yeah, this is the L'Oreal Blackest Black Voluminous Lash Paradise. They have a waterproof one, which I don't like, but this is just the regular one and I love the wand. Like, look how big it is. I love a big wand for mascara. I feel like it gets every single lash up. So that's just like one application and you can already tell a difference in my eyes. Like, And this is the way um, it looks after like three coats of it. So I really like this mascara. I think it's really worth it. Um, and again, it's at the drugstores. So after this, I'm pretty much done with everything. I just need to do my lip color. And I think for today's look, I'm feeling a little festive. I'm gonna do this red lip. This is a beautiful red lip. Or do I do a darker red lip like this? I'm still like not 100% comfortable wearing a dark red lip like this out in public. So I only wear it for like special events, but look how beautiful this is. Maybe I'll do a holiday look um, when I'm not going to school and I'll wear this red lip. But I think for the sake of me just going to school, I'm gonna do something a little bit more um, darker and something that I feel a little bit more confident in. So this is a Morphe liquid lipstick, also very affordable. It was only like, it was less than $10, I know that. This is in the shade Nibble and it is just the perfect dark blood red lip. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with a lip liner. This is Trendsetter. So it is a darker brown. Um, I think it adds a good amount of contrast. And this is just a tiny, tiny, tiny lip pencil or a lip brush I like to use to line my lips with. Highly suggest outlining your lips before applying a dark lipstick like this. That way you know exactly where to go, where to start. <sighs> it smells so good. So I overline the crap out of my lips because I like the way it looks. Um, but I am going to clean it up just a little bit and I'm going to be using this small, I think this came in like an Ulta box, but it's just a very, very small, like a concealer brush and you can use any tiny concealer brush for this part. But, um, this is just the one that I have. I'm sorry. I don't really know where I got it, but I know it's just like a cheap brush and you can find brushes like this at e.l.f. Um, or any other uh, like little techniques also has some good ones too. Those are pretty affordable. So instead of using my concealer, I'm gonna be using my foundation to outline because it'll blend a lot easier. So I'm just gonna be taking the small amount that's on the lid, just about like this much. And this is what I do to clean up the sides of my lipstick. Your lipstick will look so much better if you just do this little extra step. So I'm just gonna go along the sides with a little bit of foundation on my brush. and kind of tap it out with my finger. Last but not least, 
I'm going to do some highlighter. So this product is also not from the drugstore, but it is an affordable brand. It is from Colourpop, and you can find them at Ulta or online. Um, this is a highlighter in the shade Lunch Money, and I'm using my Morphe R36 highlighting brush. And I'm just swirling this product on the very, very tip of my brush. I'm not adding too much. Um, because stuff can get um, carried away pretty easily, I'm just going to lightly, very, very lightly go right above my cheekbones. This is where I'm going to start my highlighter. And then I like to bring the highlighter like right on the apples of my cheek. I feel like that makes my skin more like youthful looking. Like, do you see the difference? Like, it just makes everything so cute. A little bit on my chinny chin because remember my skin is dry so if you have oily skin I wouldn't highlight in all the places that I'm highlighting but because I do have dry skin um, I like to bring some sort of shine to my face so I'm gonna just do the tip of my nose right in this little like divot of my nose I like to highlight not necessarily all along the bridge of my nose but specifically right here I feel like it just makes the highlight look so good. And then right above my eyebrow. I'm gonna take a smaller um, detail brush and this is a Morphe M321 brush. It's just a small little dome brush. This is what I use to highlight the inner corners and it just fits perfectly right in the tear duct area. I go heavy on the inner corner highlight. I love the way a bright inner corner looks. But if you don't, then just skip out on this step. I just think it like gives light to the eyes and just makes you look more awake. And I love this technique because I'm always tired. And since I don't have a setting spray, I usually do this technique and it works. Um, I'll take the flat end of my Real Technique sponge without adding any additional water or anything to it. I just like to push all the highlight and all my product into my skin and I feel like this really does just melt everything together. You obviously can just use your setting spray but even then if I have a setting spray I like to spray the end of my sponge and then I push it into my skin. I just feel like it looks like more natural so I'm going very very like slow with this process because I don't want to move anything and I'm kind of pushing it and rolling it. Alright guys and I think that's it. So this is the look that I do every single day. I change up the lip though. I don't do the same lip every single day. It just depends on where I'm going and what look I'm trying to go for. If I want something a little bit more natural, obviously I do like a nude lip, but they're not drugstore, so I didn't want to use them today. Hopefully you guys learned something or found some products that you've never really used before that you have access to at the drugstore and you can try them out. But yeah, these are all products that I ride or die for. I use them every single day in my makeup routine. Um, don't really change them out. This is what I use uh, quite often. So I can stand by these products and say that I absolutely adore them. So if you haven't tried any of these products, definitely try them out. So yeah, thank you for hanging out with me while I got ready today. Hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah!